Hi everyone, my name is Daniel and this is my partner Daisy. In this video today, I'd like to share with you my experiences and skills in training dogs. I've been training dogs for over seven years. During this period, sadly, I've seen many dogs deemed disobedient and then abandoned by their owners. You know, there's no such thing as a bad dog, just a poorly trained one. So, as long as you put in the effort to properly train them, they will become good girls or boys. Dogs, like kids, are not able to distinguish between what is right and what is wrong. But, they are able to learn and are willing to learn. So, all you have to do is train them and they will grow up to be great partners. Hopefully, this video can help you and your dog to find that relationship where you enjoy training and raising your dog. I want to thank Dog Care for sponsoring this video. And I really like Dog Care's pet philosophy, which is that to love them is to train them. Training helps them get rid of their bad behaviors and dangers. You can also learn more about your dog and understand what they need by training them. Dog Care uses technology to assist you through training and help you improve your relationships with your dogs. Recently, more and more people are using electronic training collars as assistance tools. But what I've found is that a lot of people use them, even put them on wrong. Putting on the dog's training collar correctly ultimately affects the effectiveness of the training. In this video, I would like to show you how to put on the dog's training collar correctly. I have Dog Care Well-D Advance training collar in my hands. Dog Care makes several kinds of dog training collars, but the way you put them on is almost the same. Now, Daisy and I will show you how to help your dog get used to wearing a training collar. First, make sure that the collar is turned off and the security keypad lock is in a locked state. This is a very useful design feature because it prevents you from sending instructions to your dog when you do not want to, because this would confuse them. Second, when you use the dog hair training collar for the first time, you need to adjust the belt so it would fit your dog's neck. Now, when it's fitted, there should be a gap so you could fit one finger in between your dog's neck and the belt. Dog care training collars have a wide adjustable range from 10 to 24 inches. So it should fit most dogs. But do not use the training collars on puppies under six months old because they're too young and can easily get frightened. That's all the preparation work done. Now you need to slowly place the collar in front of your dog so the dog would sniff it. Now, if that happens, you need to praise your dog and give them a good snack. Right here, good girl, good girl. So the dog thinks that this is a good thing and it won't hurt her. The dog is not interested. You can try shaking it so the dog would come towards you. And when that happens, you need to praise your dog. For step two, you need to touch your dog's neck gently with the collar. And if your dog is not resisting, you need to praise your dog and give it a good snack. Good girl, good girl. Next, you should touch your dog in different areas of the body. All right? and keep praising your dog. What a good girl, good girl, right? Good girl, good girl. But if your dog resists, then you need to go back and repeat the previous steps. Now, Daisy did not resist, so we can try putting the collar around her neck. Fasten it gently. The collar should be at the lower middle of her neck and the dog care logo should be upright facing you. The collar must be snug otherwise your dog will fail to feel the stimulation but it shouldn't be too tight because that would make your dog feel uncomfortable. 
So what is the right tightness? Here's a small tip. You should be able to put your index finger in between your dog's neck and the collar. If you want to adjust the collar, you need to remove the collar first, adjust the size, and then put it back on. Otherwise, fur might get trapped. You need to remove it and put it back on until it's the right size. You need to make sure that the two electrodes are in contact with the skin. You can wiggle the collar like that so the electrodes would pass through the hair and touch the skin. So the dog could feel the stimulation from the collar. When you do that, you need to remember to praise your dog and stroke him and the dog will see the collar as a good thing. It will take a few days for your dog to get used to the new collar. You can also use this collar from time to time just like you would with a normal collar so your dog could get used to it more quickly. Every time you put the collar on, you need to recheck the tightness of the belt so it's not uncomfortable for your dog. And do not start the training as soon as you put the collar on because dogs are very smart and they can connect the sensation on their neck to the new thing. So if that's the case, then your training will be less effective. In addition, please do not attach the leash to the training collar because the two electrodes on it might end up causing discomfort or even hurting your dog if you're pulling the leash. So that's it for today's video on how to properly use the training collar. Did you learn how to do it? Yeah? Hopefully you liked the video and Daisy, good girl. And that's a goodbye from us. See you in the next one.